time, eh? What and those cricketers are at it again. And I'm not talking about the invertebrate kind. Oh no, the chappies I'm talking about have plenty of backbone, eh? Ha 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 ha. Cricket players. And if you're out playing cricket, if you're out playing any game, in fact, if you're out in the sun, you need to protect yourself. From what I hear you ask? Well, from Terra, the sun. Now, this is sunblock. But why do you need to wear sunblock? So that you won't get burnt from the sun? Because if the sun shines you, you, it, you will be uh, burnt. Because you might get burnt from the sun. Because um, it's 10 minutes, then it's burn time and to protect you. So you don't get burnt from the sun. If you don't um, put sunscreen on, um, you'll get skin cancer. Hmm, you've got a point there. But when you think about it, it's two words, sun block. Sun block, to block the sun. So maybe you wear sun block to stop the sun getting you too hot, red hot. Or maybe, maybe you wear sunblock to attract the sun. Yeah, so it makes you all warm and snuggly all over. Well, one thing's for sure, the sun is involved. So that's the first thing on the investigation list. Right, our sun is a star. And like most stars, it's actually a ball of nuclear fusion energy. Right, now this is important, I need you to listen. Are you listening? <laughs> Jolly good. Eyes here, sun here, earth here, space in between, right? Right? <laughs> right. Okay, what we've got is the sun sending energy down towards the earth as radiation. And now this is dreadful stuff, so eyes here please. These ones here are the ones we need to worry about. They're the UVA rays and some UVB rays. Okay, listening, paying attention, <laughs> jolly good, because it's these chappies here that we need to fight and combat. Got it? <laughs> good, and thank you for listening. Now, when the UV rays reach the Earth's surface and provide us with daylight, they have to pass through the atmosphere. Now, imagine that this is a section of Earth and the atmosphere above it. Pudding is the Earth, jelly the atmosphere. And the jelly, I mean the atmosphere, is made up of gases. There's oxygen gas and there's nitrogen and there's carbon dioxide. In fact, there are lots and lots of gases. And they sit about 20 kilometres deep and they're held there by gravity. Now, those ultraviolet rays, one ultraviolet ray here, tries to push its way through the atmosphere. <laughs> But the gases in the ozone layer prevent it from reaching the Earth's surface. In some places, the ozone layer is getting thinner. That's because of pollution, and the carbon dioxide in the pollution breaks down the ozone. That hole in the ozone layer allows more UV rays to get through to the Earth's surface and to us. Hmm. Huh. Now, the idea would be to make a sunblock for the ozone, something like this custard here. You'd put the block on and it would stop those UV rays from being able to get through. But unfortunately, that's not possible. Never mind, if only all experiments were made this way. Hmm. You know, when you think about it, your skin keeps your insides in, so it must be pretty tough. But obviously not tough enough to withstand the radiation from the sun. Now, this picture here would have you think that your skin is about as thick as a duvet, <laughs> but it's not. Although it's made up of lots of layers, it's only about a millimetre thick. And your skin is made up of lots of hexagonal shaped cells. The ones on the top, the surface, are called the epidermis and they're made up of dry 
dead skin cells. Oh, I'm covered in dead skin. And you are too, all over you, lots of dead skin cells. Blah. But it's okay, really, because those dead skin cells just flake off and float away to be replaced by new ones. Underneath that dry skin layer, that's the epidermis here, is another layer that's soft and moist and juicy. It's called the dermis. And you might have seen the dermis if you've ever had a blister. You know when it bursts and that dry flap of skin comes off? Underneath that is pink raw dermis, and that's that layer here. But it doesn't stay there very long because new cells grow and push the dermis up, up, up to become the epidermis where the skin cells die and flake off again. It's time to see UVB rays in action. UVB stands for ultraviolet burn rays, and that's what those rays do. They cause changes in your skin the way a barbecue changes food. Hear that steak sizzle? Well, that's what your skin does under those UVB rays. This steak here has seen too much heat already. There's been a chemical reaction in the meat to turn it crispy and burn it. So UVB rays cause a chemical reaction in your skin. They make your body create more melanin and give you a tan, but they also burn you. Hmm. Another delicious investigation. UVA rays do something different. Leave plump, juicy tomatoes, grapes or plums out in the sun and they become dried up wrinkly prunes, raisins and sun-dried tomatoes. And that's what UVA rays do. They dry out the layers of your skin and make them all wrinkly. I need a guinea pig. Yeah. I need somebody who's prepared to burn a little for science. Hey, hey no, you could do a really good job. <laughs> no? Oh. Well, how about a paper boy then? Good, because I happen to have one here, all ready for this experiment. I'm going to cover half of his body with sunblock. <laughs> and leave the rest of his body exposed to the sun. Now this could take quite a while. So here's one I prepared earlier. I covered this top part of his body with sunblock and left the rest of his body exposed to burn and discolour. So sunblock can save your body. Can't it, paper boy? A paper boy lost for words? Maybe not. I have the answer. You wear sunblock to protect you from the harsh UV rays of the sun. Now, we need a certain amount of sun because that helps us to produce vitamin D inside our bodies. We need that for strong bones and healthy bodies, but not too much. So whenever you're out in the sun, always, always, always wear sunblock. And maybe you can think of some other ways to protect yourself from the sun too. If you'd like a fact sheet for this or any other Susie's World programme, write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Seeing as it's such a beautiful sunny day and we are covered with our sunblock protection, it's your turn to bat. Oh, look at that, it's starting to rain. Never mind, next time. See you later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.